The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone. Namaskar, Adab, Sat Shri Kaal. How are you today? Today is uh, World's International Women's Day and women's health is more important. Yes, it is. And that's why we are starting a new series today which is called Her Health. Right. So her health is more important than his health. That's why we are going to talk about her health. Right. So first problem which we will discuss today will be pain, painful periods. Obviously, every single woman, every single girl, every single lady has to go through periods and once in a while at least sometimes they have painful periods so why do they have these menstrual cramps menstrual pain this is also called dysmenorrhea in medical language so we're going to talk about this problem today in very details let's start so what are these pains right what are uh, menstrual pains <clears throat> number one Menstrual pain are pain which is having during the menstrual period cycle and this is uh, not exactly a premenstrual syndrome. Premenstrual syndrome is different and this pain which can be throbbing or cramping pain in the lower abdomen and can also have you can also have other symptoms like low back pain you can have nausea diarrhea headaches right all these things can happen along with the pain but there is pain right and obviously in premenstrual syndrome it is a little different because in premenstrual syndrome you will have weight gain bloating irritability and fatigue which is not there in menstrual pains right and premenstrual syndrome starts one to two weeks before your period starts and menstrual pain will start after your period starts right so the big question here is what causes these pains obviously right so for that we need to understand that there are two types of menstrual cramps or in medical language we call dysmenorrhea which is primary and secondary primary means which is caused not because of something else it is because of something inside the uterus something inside there and primary is most common right it is the most common type and it is not obviously then uh, the cause is usually because of hormones it says it is because of too much prostaglandins basically prostaglandins the main hormone main chemical that your uterus makes and this chemical makes the muscles of the uterus tighten contract and then relax right so this causes the cramps so prostaglandins too much prostaglandins causes the cramps right this pain can start primary uh, dysmenorrhea primary pain period pain can start a day or two just a day or two before your period not a week back right and it can last for a few days although in some cases it can last longer also but then it cannot last much longer as compared to uh, you know other pains and usually what happens the uh, when you start having periods first when you are younger they uh, you usually when you begin to have your period then you can have these kind of pains but as you grow older as you have uh, more and more periods then pain becomes less and less right obviously and the pain can also get better uh, after you have given birth right after you have had a delivery right <clears throat> then other type of pain is secondary amenorrhea secondary dysmenorrhea right dysmenorrhea means menstrual cramp secondary secondary means which is caused because of some other condition that that affects your uterus or your other reproductive organs so other something like endometriosis or some uterine fibroids so something is there which is causing pains which is causing problems right that is secondary problem and mostly uh, these kind of pains will get worse over time so if it is secondary it will not get 
less and less over time or after periods or uh, or after delivery it can it will get worse right and it can also begin uh, just like that before your period start and continue after your periods so what can you do so what should you do basically <laughs> So, in order to help you yourself, you can actually try a few tips or tricks, right? First is to use a heating pad. You can use a heating pad or a hot water bottle, which you can uh, keep on your lower abdomen. Heating pad or hot warm on your lower abdomen, that can give you release, relief. Because the heat basically relaxes the muscles, right? That you can do. Other thing you can do is you can get some little bit of exercise during that time. Take a hot bath, hot bath or you can do some relaxation exercise techniques like yoga or meditation. Right. These are the basics. Then you might uh, end up uh, needing an over-the-counter painkiller. Painkiller. You can take a painkiller like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicines like paracetamol, brufin, apoprufin, uh, naproxen, etc. Or acetaminophen, what you call it. Right. Uh, besides these pain relievers, uh, actually uh, this besides relieving the pain, these non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can also reduce the prostaglandins that your uterus is making. Therefore, they will actually decrease your pain further, right? And help you uh, relax. This is important. But uh, you can only take uh, NSAIDs when you have symptoms, right? Don't start taking them before you having any symptoms. So you can only uh, and you should not take if you have any ulcers or any stomach problems or any liver disease or any other problem, right? You should always consult a doctor before taking painkillers if you have these kind of or any major medical disease. And you should not take them if you are uh, allergic to aspirin, if you have uh, low platelet count, bleeding tendencies, etc. Heart disease, you have to talk to your doctor first, right? <clears throat> then... Uh, after this, what, what tests, right, medical help can you need? I mean, what tests or medical checkup do you need to go to a doctor? When do you need to go to a doctor? That is also very important, right? And in some cases, one more thing I need to tell you. In some cases, if you actually have a habit of smoking or alcohol, yes, you can have or not having enough rest then that can increase your problems so you have to make sure that you are resting well you're not smoking or not taking too much alcohol uh, regularly that is very bad for you smoking is absolutely bad for everyone right then if your um, cramps are getting worse if uh, painkillers are not act not effective if you're over 25 and have a severe cramp for the first time and if you have a fever along with your cramp, if you have pain, which uh, when you are not getting your periods, right? If you have pain without periods, then you should go to a doctor for evaluation. And, <coughs> and what, what we do, we diagnose your pain on the basis of health checkups, medical history, and then ultrasound is done. Ultrasound or imaging test is done to see your uterus and other things. We can see what is wrong and some idea can be taken out to find some fibroid or secondary dysmenorrhea. Or you might need a laparoscopy or maybe some other tests might be needed according to your case, right? And if there is actually uh, some problem, so like secondary, there is a treatment. For primary dysmenorrhea, primary medical, uh, primary menstrual cramps don't need any treatment, right? You just need to do what I said in the, uh, you know, first just relax, take care of your health, uh, keep a warm, this thing, etc., etc. That will take care. And you can actually do some more things. You can take birth control pills, uh, right? And you can uh, use some patches, IUDs, rings. All these things are hormonal uh, balancing. They actually balance your hormones and actually help you in avoiding future pains for primary, primary menstrual cramps, right? And uh, obviously painkillers, pain relievers are there. And secondary uh, menstrual cramps, secondary dysmenorrhea, treatment will depend upon the reason. If you have, say, fibroid surgery might be needed. If you have endometriosis, medicines can do, etc., etc. If there is an infection, then obviously antibiotics will be needed. So it will depend upon the reason, right? Pelvic inflammatory disease, etc., etc. There can be many reasons for secondary uh, dysmenorrhea. So this is the basic why you have 
have pain, what you can do, when you need to go to a doctor, etc, etc, etc. So, happy Women's Day. Make sure to share this video. This video will also come in Hindi. Hindi may be aayega ye video. Do not worry. And take care of yourself, right? Stay connected, stay healthy and happy Women's Day once again.